So we get the opportunity to test out uh, external batteries a fair bit on the channel. And we have a lot of, you know, good batteries, decent batteries. So when power goes out or anything like that, and you know what, you need to run some fairly, I want to say smaller items like your laptop or, you know, you need to charge maybe some other batteries or you need to power some lights, et cetera, et cetera. They work fantastic, or, you know, but they're fairly, I still want to say they're fairly big, right? It's not something that is ridiculously or easily portable. So portable in the car, sure. But for me, for instance, uh, I travel during the spring and summer and sometimes in the fall, you know, a lot on a motorcycle. So having that convenience of size, especially if you're just traveling, maybe you're going somewhere on a plane and you need to bring a battery to be able to charge certain devices, um, something a little more portable in size can be beneficial. So these guys here, Easy Longer, uh, Easy Longer, right here, Easy Longer, uh, sent us out uh, this, and it's a it's a CPAP battery. So it's designed, I, I would think, for uh, like a CPAP machine, right? Backup battery for a CPAP. But it does say it's right, not limited to the models below. But what's nice about this, they have a bunch of different batteries and they're not huge, which is fantastic, which is what I really like. For the size, right, a 96,000 milliamp battery, uh, 297.6 watt hours, which is pretty standard that I usually have for a lot of the batteries at home. Price point, you're, you're right in the ballpark, which is awesome. Um, so this one has some cool features in it that we're gonna take a look at. Now we have, I believe, this is this one, I believe, uh, does it say in here anywhere? I don't know. I'm looking at the front. I would say yes, yes, matchy, matchy. Uh, they do have a 72,000 milliamp hour battery and they have just a small little battery, right? That should power this as well. Now just realize they also have other batteries, just standard laptop power banks, phone power banks, et cetera, et cetera. They are kind of a bat, a battery, uh, <sighs> company. Um, but for me, not that I use a CPAP machine, uh, this could be beneficial for those that do and for those that travel and would like to be able to bring a battery with you. So we're going to, we're going to take a look at this. Okay. So this is the one we have here. Quick view, right? Uh, 96,000 milliamp hours, 297 watt, 0.6 watt hours. You guys can see all the stuff here. Uh, wide compatibility, uh, featuring two 12 volt, 50 amp cigarette letter ports. So 12 volt port ports, uh, one DC input, uh, one DC output, one, uh, power delivery, 60 watt USB-C port in and out to quick charge, uh, USB-A 3.0 ports, uh, one 10 watt wireless charging port, uh, or not port, but pad right there. The battery pack can power all your portable devices, including CPAP machines, car refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, air pumps, and other devices up to 180 watts. Laptops, tablets, smartphones, GPS, fans, drones, Nintendo game consoles, more. Safe and stable, four ways to charge what you get. Um, I'm really excited for this because again, we do motorcycle chips, which is what I'm going to use it. And as much as I'd love to bring a really big battery because I like to be able to charge things, possibly ride I'm riding so I could charge multiple cameras. I could charge my phone if I needed to, I could charge my iPad, I could whatever, you know, um, this, I could throw in the trunk of my bike, the trunk of my bike, because it's not too big, which, which would be awesome, right? I could even charge batteries for heated gear. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so this is the box, 3000 cycles, like, as it says, USB-C 60 watt, dual 12 volt uh, charger on it, a DC input output, wireless charging, solar charging ready. So I don't think it, it doesn't come with a solar charger, but if you have one, which I do, uh, we could use that, right? Technical specs, if you guys are interested in reading that. And I think last but not least, if you guys can focus, I don't know if you can, there's some more goodies up there, right? Very cool. This is honestly one of the battery packs I've been most kind of excited for. So first off, just so you guys can see it, there's a whole, whole bunch of your cables, right? Depending on on your needs. So as it says here, this is your, it just says easy, easy longer. They all just say easy longer. I, I thought they would be like, oh. So this says four 
ResMed S9. Uh, maybe these are for specific uh, CPAP machines, right? For Philips, Philips Dreams. Yeah, these are for CPAP machines. Systems, System 160. So different, different cables for that. Uh, this one here, just so you can see, what does it say? For ResMed Air Mini. I'm probably I may be saying these wrong. I I, I uh, apologize. Uh, and this one here just says easy longer, easy longer. I'm guessing maybe this is just your default power cable, possibly. And uh, no, this would be your default power cable. This is going to go right in here. Now you do get a USB C to USB C. I would think for charging as well, and then your wall charger. But it is a CPAP battery, right? So you want to make sure it has the cables, and and it does. Now I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. It also comes with a uh, user manual, outdoor battery pack, user manual. Yes. Right. And the other thing, too, to kind of be aware of is that, you know, when you're looking at, and I'll talk about more, more for the, like, the CPAP machines. When you're looking for a battery that's, let's say, uh, in that 300 watt hours, uh, or even higher sometimes, right? It, sometimes you're unaware of how much power it can deliver, uh, not its total capacity, right? But how much power it can deliver, uh, how much power certain devices require. Um, and knowing that this battery is designed for CPAP machines um, should give you a lot more confidence when you get it versus, you know, buying just a, a default uh, backup battery, which you get home and you plug it in and it works for like two minutes and then it blows the battery because the battery says I can't deliver that kind of power, right? So that's kind of nice. Uh, this though, is your manual it's a manual right manual battery 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 or power 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 cool 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 ready that my friends is small yeah it's actually small and i'm pretty sure my camera again i'm, I'm just gonna i'm just doing that maybe yep sure whatever um that easily like here's my hand right and it's it's not it's not very like wide, tall. You can easily put this in the back. I could put this in the back of my motorcycle. I could put it in the side trunks of my motorcycle. It's got a little bit of weight to it, of course. Like it's not light, it's a battery. So think about picking up your car battery or you know your motorcycle battery or something like that. That's kind of the weight that you're looking at, right? Does it say how much weight? Yeah, 6.6 .6 pounds. So that'll give you a bit of an idea, right? So take this out, but I love that it comes in a little bag because you know, throw that, throw that with the bag inside your bag. And as you can tell, I haven't opened it, which as, as, as always, right? Check that out. That's perfect size. And it's already got a little, little, it's already lit up a little bit. So it's got a bit of a charge to it. I want you guys to see it. It looks like it's got a light. I don't know if it said that, but it's got one. It's got a tiny little handle. Thumbnail. Yes. And I'd like the green because it'll be easy to see. There is going to be your wireless charging, 96,000 milliamp hours. And here's all your ports, right? So nice seal on them, which again, for those of us that are possibly using this outdoors, we have our 12 volt, which got, that's a lovely seal actually. Pleased with that. Yes, yes, yes. 12 volt. Cool. This should be another 12 volt in there yep right and you can just kind of take those out which is all right and then you get this will open up one one of these ways i would think yes there you go you got your USB A, USB A, and that's going to be where you plug this in to actually charge and their usb cr3 3.0 ports now it's not as if they're data data driven at all but definitely for power uh and last but not least over here you got your USB-C and your, uh, what is that? So we got your DC in, your DC out. It just says, yeah, just USB out, out, USB-C in and out, 12 volt, 12 volt. Um, you know what? This is just a first look, but here's, here's what I like. Here's what I like. First off, it's got a light. Oh, it's got some stuff, this up here. I wonder if you tap this. I'm guessing if you hold certain things, it tells you, this is saying now that, Maybe you guys, I'll turn it this way. Maybe you guys can see that. This is saying that the uh, wireless charger is turned on, right? 
You may be able to hold it. I have to read the instructions. Oh, if you hold that, look at that. There's your light. Your light is on. Hold it again. Off. Yeah, that'll be useful. It's not crazy bright, but it's 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 bright enough. Hold that in there. There you go. There's going to be your 12 volts. Right? 16 volts. It's going through all, showing all the different, I think, different power or how much power you can push out, maybe depending on the product. I'm guessing a little bit, but the buttons are really, like, they're really nice buttons. Oh, yeah, look at that. It turned the light color. It had, a, like, a, a yellow light. Now it has a white light. Yes? White light. Bright. Light bright. And then you just take this and hold this, I believe. Anyways, this one does actually have a V on it. I'm guessing that stands just for voltage so that you can, if you are plugging it into certain machines and it has a specific uh, volt output, you can actually kind of make sure that it's regulated that way. You just kind of click and hold and she will switch to those. You see it go into a 16 volt, 12 volt, 20 volt, 24 volt. And then I think it, yeah, recycles. And then you just let it sit and do its thing. Once that finishes doing its thing, I think you just, yeah, there you go. Then this button here, if you click and hold it, it turns the light on, click and hold again, it'll turn off. Oh, okay, so, and then if you double click it when it's off, it goes to a white light. That's cool. This is kind of just a first look, and I do think this is a battery that uh, quite possibly you and I uh, would want for, for a couple of reasons, right? Number one is just size. So if you like a small battery sitting at home, put it on your shelf, put whatever you want. I think this is going to be really nice. It's, it covers all the bases, wireless phone, USB-C, USB-A, and of course, a 12 volt cigarette lighter style. Um, it also has the ability and power for our CPAP machines, and it does have the ability, or it does come with all, all the included cables, I would think that most may probably require for this. Um, and then last but not least, for those of us that are on a motorcycle chip, this is super convenient, right? Super convenient, nice and small. Um, it's probably the smallest, again, for me, the smallest uh, battery pack of this size that I've actually used. Plus, you know, if you're traveling or whatever, camping on a motorcycle, on a car, something goes wrong, this is gonna be really handy as an outdoor light, flashlight, uh, emergency light, something that you can set up on the side of the road to help you with repairs or just make sure that you just don't get hit. So, yeah, I like it. I think this is really good. This is probably out of the 300 milliamp hour batteries that I've got, that's not right, out of the 300 watt hours that I've got, uh, this probably is one of my favorite. All right, guys, we'll do uh, we'll do a um, update probably on this either in the spring or we may even update because uh, we're in winter right now for us and uh, power fluctuates here a lot. These kind of batteries can be lifesavers for us here as we're trying to charge stuff and keep stuff operational. A lot of times I use these to keep my Wi-Fi going, so this will probably be the one that I choose just to try it out. So you may get an update video. Uh, either in the spring or or maybe earlier. I will put links over to Easy Longer's website so you guys can check these out. And uh, that's it for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.